Alaska's Dormant Volcano Gains Back Life Have you heard about Alaska's Dormant Volcano? First question that might pop up into all of our minds might be what exactly is a dormant volcano? Well, it's a type of volcano which is potentially active yet not so, meaning it is currently inactive and not causing problems, but there is no guarantee to how long this situation might continue as such. A famous one in Alaska among some is Mount Edgecombe. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed till now. What's the first thing that comes into your mind when you hear the word volcano and eruption? Mine would be the science experiment we did in school using simple ingredients. It was fun to watch back then, but it is not really fun when it comes to reality. It is actually a natural disaster and one which could take a lot of lives if we fall prey to it. Mount Edgecombe is situated at the southern end of Cruzoff Island, Alaska. It is about 15 miles to the west of Sitka. The volcano is also about 10 miles far from east of the Queen Charlotte Fault, which separates the North American and Pacific plates, and is also known to be the highest point in the Mount Edgecombe volcanic field, an area of about 100 square miles on Cruzoff Island, which also includes Crater Ridge and Shell Mountain. It has not had a major eruption for the past 4,000 years, but a recent earthquake activity has shown a magma intrusion at a depth of 3 miles, which is a bad sign as it is a potential indication of the volcano erupting. As of 2022, an eruption does not seem like to be something that is probably going to happen. It has also been classified by the Alaska Volcano Observatory. AVO is historically active. Mount Edgecombe was used as an April Fool's joke in 1974, which made the citizens believe that the volcano was erupting. The AVO recently found out that magma has been found coming up towards Earth's crust from beneath the volcano. It was called dormant as it had not seen any kind of volcanic activity nor any signs of eruption at least for the past 800 to 900 years. This has been verified with locals living there for quite some time. The awfully quiet nature led to it getting its name and being removed from the list of dangers. The scientists took the help of satellite images and computer models to find out, to their astonishment and to verify whether their doubts were right, that the amount of magma had rose from a depth of 12 miles to only 6 miles away. This had resulted in many earthquakes and deformations being caused on its surface recently. What do you think will happen if it erupts? What might be going on with the people of Alaska? Let's find out what they have to say about it. That's the fastest rate of volcanic deformation that they currently have in Alaska, stated Associate Professor of Geodesy, Ronnie Grappenthin, belonging to the University of Alaska Fairbanks. He is also a lead author for a research paper outlining the findings in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. He also added that, and while it is not uncommon for volcanoes to deform, the activity at Edgecombe was unusual because reactivation of dormant volcanic systems is rarely observed. Some amounts of earthquake activity was observed at the Mount Edgecombe, which is situated just 15 miles away from Sitka, and its 8,500 residents. It sure will affect them badly if any kind of unplanned and massive disaster occurs. Many lives are in danger as well. Rabin then also tells that the people have nothing to be scared of as the magma movement is still pretty deep and will not affect the land or its people soon. He tells them to stay calm and assures their safety as the team is thoroughly monitoring the situation well. This magma intrusion has been going on for three plus years now, he stated. Prior to an eruption, we do expect more signs of unrest, more seismicity, more deformation, and importantly, changes in the patterns of seismicity and deformation. Many kinds of new and technological advances, monitoring equipment, has been placed on and near the mountain this year, and scientists are now taking a closer look, even at the other volcanoes nearby to make sure nothing goes wrong or unplanned. That will be it for today's video. We really hope that you loved it. What do you think will happen to the volcano? Will it erupt or remain stagnant and scare the people? Please comment down your thoughts regarding the same. And before you go, Please hit the subscribe button if you have not to see more such videos. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the next one.